Welcome back. Here we go. We got the Lord Eagles taking on these Umbrota Mazeppa Cougars. The biggest one up late in the third quarter, down 42-0. ZM looking for an answer. Hayden Morass steps up, fires over the middle. It's deflected off the hands of his intended receiver right in the hands of Eric Nelson. He's brought down just outside the 10-yard line. Eagles in business. A few plays later here, Lord continuing to add to this lead. Will Higley is going to push his way forward. A little bit of a spin, that B button, circle button, whatever you want to use. Into the end zone for the touchdown. Nice work, fighting through the contact. 49, zip, Lord here. Very next drive, yeah, crown him. Cougars needing a big play. They'll get one. Whereas, going to take a shot deep downfield. Ben Gunhus, give me that. Hauls it in over the head of Jackson Nelson at midfield. Let's play. Sparked a three-minute touchdown drive to get the Cougars on the board. But in this one, it's not enough here. Eagles get this win 49-12 to over Zabrota Mazeppa. Lord now moves on and will play, as you saw before, La Crescent in the semifinals Saturday. Be at the high seed that will be Lord in that game, hosting that one on Saturday. And we got some more scores for you here. The Lewiston Altura Cardinals and the St. Charles Saints game, that was postponed. Same for the Cotter Ramblers and the Chatfield Gophers. Both of these games in the Section 1 2A tournament will be played tomorrow in the semifinals, pushed to Monday the 30th. All right, let's go now over in Goodhue, the four seed Wildcats hosting five Blooming Prairie, a Section 1A quarterfinal matchup here. First quarter, Goodhue with it to handoff, but look at Alex Lee saying, not today. Big TFL right there for BP, but. Grant Reed's not going to be denied. Next play, that is two broken tackles. Make it three. Bounce it outside. Look at the senior go. Lightning McQueen up the sideline. Touchdown, Goodhue. This PAT is blocked, though. Six zip is the lead. We'll jump ahead. Wildcats up 14-0. And shout out the pancake block from Caleb Curdy. Reed up the right sideline this time. He sees a whole lot of green and a whole lot of glory. That's a tutty for Goodhue. It is 21 zip. Oh, ensuing kickoff here. This is a bouncer up the middle. It's a fumbled ball on the carpet. Jack Carlson is on it. Good Hugh. Feeling good at home in this one. And of course, who else here but Reed from short distance to get right back in the end zone as the Wildcats roll in this one. It's a 42 nothing shutout win for Good Hugh as they move on here. Elsewhere in this one, Fillmore Central hosting Hayfield. Falcons get the win 41-14 over Hayfield. So Fillmore Central, good cue. We'll meet in the semis on Saturday at 2 p.m. We go to Kenya Wanamingo, the Knights in a Coliseum-esque battle with Rushford Peterson. Score 0-0, less than two minutes to play. A pure show of power from the Knights' Trent Foss. Lowers the shoulder at the line of scrimmage, misses another in the second level, and drags a pair of Trojans into the end zone for the first score of the game. Rushford Peterson needing to respond fast. They elect to go to the air. Samson Wilkmeyer targeting Jackson Meldahl, but Kyle Brogger gets to it first. INT to seal the low scoring knockdown drag out wow. battle tonight. What a play. Kenya Wanamingo wins 6 0. As for the Wabasha Kellogg Falcons, they fall 14 52 to the second seeded Bethlehem Academy Cardinals. Wow, you know, our Sarah Gannon's got to love that. Can you want a mango win? Absolutely. Big one there. Big one. Playoff time. You got to love all this action. And we're not done yet here on Sports Extra. We still have to show you our KBBC play of the week. Plus, we got some nine man coverage as Spring Grove hosts Mabel Canton. Find out who wins in a between the Lion and the Cougar 